Hello, just uh, testing. Uh, hello. Uh, seems uh, everything is fine. We are almost ready. We'll start uh, by another uh, maybe uh, five or six minutes, uh, seven minutes, I think. So thank you.
part, right? Uh, hello, everybody. Are you listening? Can I get some? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, we can start. So let me first tell you the uh, topic we are going to uh, discuss today. You already know uh, link building strategies. Basically, in today's webinar, I will try to explore various types of uh, strategies for building links. Uh, there is some confusion. Uh, I will try to uh, clear that. Uh, <clears throat> let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Abul Kasham, and uh, I'm a computer programmer, uh, as you experts, and online entrepreneur. I run uh, two business, uh, videohire.com and willing.com. I'm CEO of uh, both the sites. I'm from Chittagong, Bangladesh, uh, and you can learn uh, more about me uh, on my website, kasham.org. My Twitter is kasham76, uh, and LinkedIn uh, uh, link is given uh, on the slides. So you can, I will highly appreciate if you connect with me. So uh, today's agenda uh, for this webinar is uh, try to understand whether still backlink is important than uh, uh, building links the way Google likes, building natural links, or uh, try to pretend to be natural. Uh, how can we do that? Then uh, link building for various types of sites. Actually, we uh, our, uh, our go go projects or uh, web projects are different, scopes are different, um, uh, their uh, involvement or involvement are uh, different. And we, uh, for some projects, we can take risks. For some uh, projects, we cannot. So I'll try to explore uh, uh, the various types of uh, projects we, we do for online. Then uh, <clears throat> some white hat link building strategies uh, uh, that we basically will try to uh, uh, do that for our long-term project. Uh, then tiered link building and other link building strategies that are available right now. And uh, then uh, link building for churn and button sites. So these are the topics that I'm um, going to discuss right now. So my uh, <laughs> basically, uh, uh, I will try to explore all of these, uh, uh, um, all of the uh, studies is available on uh, uh, in terms of link building. Actually, there are some confusion. Uh, if you, uh, we used to know that uh, links are very important. We have to build a lot of links. Uh, okay, uh, uh, how long I uh, in the industry? Okay, I have started my uh, career online business uh, maybe uh, from 2006. Uh, but uh, 2006 is the uh, in March 2006 I got my first sale. But before that, I was struggling to get uh, uh, online and do some business. So I have basically started uh, maybe in 2003. But I got my first sale on 2006, and uh, that was uh, my uh, uh, SEO business, link building business, basically. So it's almost uh, 10 years I am on. Uh, on the industry. So uh, I was talking about the confusion. Uh, uh, it is uh, you know we used to know that uh, we need to uh, uh, link. Uh, we need to do a lot of link building. Uh, we need a lot of uh, um, ways to create links, uh, so that uh, which is very important for ranking. But nowadays, after Penguin and uh, Hummingbird. We know that link hurts. Uh, there, uh, on, 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 the, on the other hand, if we analyze the sites that are ranking high, they uh, rank high because of their links. So, in the, in, on the in one side, we are uh, we know link and hurts. Link building may be dangerous. Link uh, can uh, cause some serious problems to our site. On the other hand, 
if you study online, if you um, uh, if you read blogs, if you analyze your sites, your competitor sites, you'll find that purely because of the links, they are rank, they are ranking. So uh, we we are confused what type of links we should do. Another area of confusing is that there are so many ways uh, you can view links. Some are white hat, some are um, um, black hat, some are gray hat, many things. So I will try to uh, try to explain um, various type of uh, link building strategies and uh, in which situation, uh, which type of link you should build. So let's first talk about uh, the type of uh, projects we, we uh, basically have. If you observe that uh, there are some sites, um, they are serious sites, they are business sites, uh, from which we basically uh, sell our service, our products, or it could be a, a e-commerce site, for which we invest a lot of money, a lot of effort, and uh, it is everything to us. We cannot afford losing it. It, uh, we, uh, it's our long-term project or career project. There are some sites as well, other types of projects that uh, we uh, do basically to earn passive income from affiliate marketing, for, from selling or displaying advertisement, and other types of monetization. So passive income uh, uh, sites that earn passive incomes also are uh, are, uh, we can classify them two, three uh, types. Number one is uh, uh, niche authority sites that we also um, build uh, uh, using our, um, based on our hobbies, expertise, experience, and we, uh, we take a lot of time uh, to build them, a lot of efforts, a lot of money, uh, and uh, we have a vision, of, uh, we have uh, to uh, make it successful so that we can earn our part-time or full-time income. So these sites also are very serious. Uh, we do not uh, want to lose them. Uh, uh, we want them to be stable and sustainable. Other types of sites are basically, uh, they are also niche sites. They are also from, to earn uh, money from online uh, through various um, uh, strategies. They are not as serious as the other two types that I have uh, mentioned. We build, uh, uh, we uh, try to find out the opportunity. <coughs> uh, we find to um, uh, fi uh, find some opportunity uh, uh, based on uh, the uh, maybe some affiliate products we have found. Uh, we can earn money if we build uh, uh, link. Uh, we build uh, we build sites around that. Maybe a CPA offer that we have found very lucrative. Uh, if uh, we'll earn good money if we can earn uh, if we build a, a site like that. This is also um, affiliate sites or passive income sites, but not as serious as other two sites. We usually build a we usually uh, uh, take um, uh, invest. Uh, smaller amount of money, smaller amount of effort uh, to build our sites. If we lose them, uh, it will not matter us a lot. Uh, if we do not get traffic, we do not earn from these type of sites, it will not hurt uh, uh, on the, uh, a lot. <clears throat> then the third, last category of sites, some smart marketers uh, take uh, uh, build some types of sites, they they know these sites of sites will earn if they rank highly they will earn money for some times and uh, within some period of time google will find them and uh, they will may penalize them uh, as uh, they are uh, they they got a, a lot of backlinks that were not natural uh, in that case we lose them uh, we don't have enough uh, any problem because this side, in terms of investment, this side uh, uh, don't uh, have enough. We have to invest. It's a very small scope, and uh, uh, basically we have a lot of sites like that. And if one or two goes out of, uh, goes out or burned, we don't have enough problem. So these types of sites are called also called um, burn and churn site, 
uh, churn and burn site or uh, parasite sites like that. So these three types of uh, cases we have, and based on that, we can, if we take our uh, the link building strategy, strategies, we'll uh, have no problem. Uh, we'll um, uh, earn good money, and we know what will happen. We'll have, uh, we'll not have enough frustration. I have seen many webmasters, many online owners, were frustrated when they have found their sites uh, got penalized. They are not getting traffic. They are not getting income because they have not aligned the link building strategy uh, based on their project's goal. So we'll try to uh, find out uh, which type of link building uh, we should do for which type of sites. So, so as you have seen that uh, there are, uh, 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 for every type of sites that we have discussed, for success, uh, 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 depends on uh, each of the sites success depends on how much traffic they actually get from uh, search engine so search engine free traffic is the lifeblood of these uh, these type of sites so uh, we will get traffic from uh, search engine if we rank if we rank um, uh, top so how we'll rank on the top obviously the content the keywords and links so it is a must, we need links. But there, uh, as Google is very much uh, hard against uh, any types of, uh, against link building strategies, we have to be careful. We should know what type of links actually Google likes now. Google actually wants you to, uh, uh, do not like actually um, uh, when you build link. What they like, you get links naturally. Uh, that means you get links, uh, you earn links, you do not build links. How you will earn link? You will create, first of all, to earn links. Okay, uh, let me explain a bit more uh, what link earning is all about. Link earning is all about um, uh, you have a site or you have a piece of content, you have a, uh, something that are linkable, you have some linkable asset. It could be a software, it could be a themes, it could be a plugins, anything that people need the, or people like. So Google, uh, 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 you promote that content or linkable asset through your channel. It could be paid free. Uh, your, uh, among your community, you outreach them to other bloggers. People know about your site, people know about um, your content. They share it on uh, social media, uh, share it with their friends, email to their friends. Bloggers found your content, your uh, your linkable asset, your site. They blog about you on their website. You get links. Some more people know about your site on the from their blogs. They again uh, blog about your product or service, and you get link almost naturally, without being without asking anybody. Uh, uh, and uh, you your links are growing organically. You don't have to do anything for link building. This is how actually Google wants. Uh, you get links uh, almost uh, are doing nothing, ju just building awesome and uh, content and linkable asset. This is how actually uh, uh, link earning is all about. So Google actually wants you to do that. But can we afford, can small business can afford that? Uh, uh, building linkable asset or uh, building awesome content is not always possible for a small business. They have to spend, uh, uh, it's time consuming. Uh, you need a lot of money, you need uh, a lot of knowledge, experience. Uh, either you, you should have that or you should have enough money to hire somebody to do that for you. So for a small business or solopreneurs or, uh, uh, or a niche website that, uh, uh, that earn from uh, passive income, cannot afford that uh, much that much to um, uh, to uh, do the initiatives take the initiatives to earn um, links through organically so that's why uh, uh, small business have to uh, take some steps uh, to build links uh, there are some strategies as I said uh, Google likes you to build that kind of links 
if Google find that you are trying to view links to um, trick their algorithm and to rank uh, by manipulating their um, uh, algorithm, their programs, they don't like it. They will obviously try to um, uh, penalty, give you penalty for that. And uh, so it is uh, dangerous for you if you build links that uh, will seem uh, unnatural to Google. So still, uh, for a small business, there is a problem. You cannot build uh, awesome content uh, as you do not have expertise, money, uh, experience, etc. On the other hand, you need links so that you, you can rank, you can build some money your project becomes successful. This is an in-between situation. That's why a small business uh, takes some initiatives to uh, do some link building that seems to be natural to Google, which doesn't cause uh, any problem. So uh, in that case, uh, 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 there are uh, some strategies uh, uh, many uh, you learn, uh, you read a lot about on um, blogs on um, forums and I'll, I will try to explain them uh, about that uh, right now. So for example, some uh, link building techniques like <laughs> like gas posting, infographics, uh, 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 marketing, outreaching, broken link strategy, uh, resource base, uh, uh, link building. These are the strategies that as a small business owners, if, uh, or if you have a, a, a niche site uh, that you want to rank, you want to earn money through affiliates, et cetera, uh, uh, then you can uh, you can use these are the link buildings uh, which are called white hat link building that uh, and uh, be technical be uh, tactical be strategical to uh, that will make you uh, that will uh, seems to google that you are building links uh, or you are getting links necessarily uh, you read a lot about uh, um, anchor text variation uh, you need a lot of uh, um, uh, about uh, <clears throat> building links uh, not so fast uh, over a period of month or over uh, uh, slowly, casually, each uh, re and regularly. Uh, so these are, uh, some, there are some techniques, uh, there are some strategies that you should adopt to make your link building efforts uh, natural. So, this, uh, the, those strategies you have to keep in mind, then there are some methods that you can use uh, to be linked. One of them is guest posting, you probably know about them. Uh, still, uh, uh, Google has some issues uh, about uh, guest posting. If you do carefully and intelligently, you will get good results. If you write uh, on other blogs related to uh, your topic, uh, uh, or any product or services related to your website, your business, and you will naturally you will get the chance to mention your website there, and also uh, you will get the uh, scopes to um, mention other other authority websites, which will uh, uh, <coughs> make your um, uh, effort uh, seems to be natural. So guest posting is one of the strategies, and I uh, recommend you read. Uh, a lot uh, you read uh, blogs uh, and forums about that uh, do and don'ts of link uh, guest posting uh, if you do that it will be you will remain safe no problem infographics as i said your site needs to have uh, some awesome content or linkable asset that will bring links to you infographics is one of them if you uh, have a very wonderful very well designed infographics and uh, and uh, uh, you promote them. You promote to uh, uh, sites that already are linking uh, to infographics that write about infographics. Uh, if you approach them, uh, uh, you'll you'll uh, you'll get uh, them uh, write about your infographics and give you link back to your site. This is wonderful 
And you also have the chance to uh, submit on various infographics website. Uh, I have found many uh, uh, blogger uh, research uh, explored that uh, uh, famous infographics directory they find their lead, uh, infographics related to their uh, size, then they uh, write about the infographics and give link back to you. And uh, infographic marketing, uh, if you have to uh, be uh, strategical, be creative to get links. Uh, if you can do it, it will bring a lot of good links to your website and it will seem almost natural to Google. So another is outreach. <laughs> outreach techniques is, uh, if, uh, if you find uh, sites that are, uh, I mean, blogger outreach, if you find bloggers that uh, links to uh, uh, then uh, write uh, on various topics related to your industry, if you outreach them, you tell about your site, product, or services, they may be interested, uh, may have interest in your product or services, they may link to you. So another uh, uh, approach in outsourcing is uh, outreach is you can check which, uh, uh, which sites are giving link to your competitor. If you uh, uh, got a list of those sites and you write to them, you uh, uh, explain why your site is good, where your content is uh, will be valuable uh, for their visitors. They will be interested and they will give you link. This strategy is also very important and you will have uh, no problem uh, from both side if you get links this way. So in outreach strategy, another two methods that uh, results a good amount of links is broken links and resource based techniques. Uh, it is actually, uh, 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 it's also outreach. You find uh, sites related to your niche uh, who have resource space or who have broken links you uh, uh, tell them uh, their site have some broken links you uh, suggest them that uh, to fix them uh, side by side you uh, tell them to uh, you got the opportunity to tell uh, them about your site so they may find uh, uh, valuable uh, your site valuable for their visitors and they can give uh, the um, link and resource base, uh, uh, in, your, in every niche, you'll find some sites um, uh, have resource space where they link to uh, various, uh, various uh, types of uh, sites related to their industry. You can find resource pages uh, in your industry. Uh, resource space is basically a link of other sites. So it is very, they all, uh, uh, you know, when you outreach, many website uh, uh, owners are not willing to give links. They will not respond. Uh, they don't have uh, the mindset to give you a link. But those who build resource base, uh, they are already uh, uh, in the mood of giving others links. So if you can uh, outreach to the site owner that have a resource base, there is a good chance that you will get links. So. If uh, this type of links you build, if you build for your either business site or your any type of site actually, you are, are, are safe and you will have no problem with uh, Google. Whatever the algorithm is changed, uh, no, uh, I think no update will cause you any problem. We have already uh, talked about natural link earning. So uh, natural link earning, as uh, I, I, I said, is building awesome content and uh, 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 and through that uh, link, uh, building links. Uh, I'll also recommend to, uh, if you read about, uh, if you search on Google and uh, you'll find some awesome content on the web that talks about how to build uh, um, uh, build content and uh, through that building. One of the studies that I would like to mention is uh, is skyscraper technique. Skyscraper technique is uh, uh, is about finding something good that work 
and then making it better. Uh, if you search uh, on your uh, uh, any uh, using your Q, uh, keywords related to your uh, site, you'll find that some sites are ranking high. Uh, some uh, articles are uh, ranking high. They are ranking high because they got links from other websites. You get the clue why, what type of uh, links actually, what type of content actually people uh, link to. So you can talk, uh, take those uh, piece of content and try to improve that. Uh, after improving that type of content, you can um, promote that content to those who already have link, uh, linking to the, uh, linked to the other types of sites. One, you can uh, promote the content using uh, various paid marketing on social media. You can outreach to bloggers uh, um, who are related to the, uh, who have related sites uh, to your topic and uh, some of them, uh, they may be interested uh, to link. You can also find uh, various uh, content idea on bassumo.com. If you check the site, you'll find various uh, uh, tutorials, guidelines there, how to use their platform to find out uh, blogging topics or uh, 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 content idea, and you can utilize that. So I also recommend you to search using Skype, Skyscraper technique, uh, which have, uh, uh, which uh, blank, a site called <coughs> Blanco, uh, give me, uh, he has a very good uh, tutorial on that, let me find out the sites for you. In these sites, you will have uh, uh, more detail about uh, skyscraper technique. Guest blogging, uh, we have already discussed about that. Outreach, we also have uh, also discussed about infographics, the building. So now uh, uh, the other types of links. The first category of links are white hat and you will have no problem if you use any types of sites. Obviously they are time consuming, uh, they take a lot of efforts, uh, they take, a, uh, you need to invest a lot of money, uh, uh, resource effort to build that of um, that kind of thing. As I said, uh, there are projects scopes and goals are different. So if you uh, build a, uh, sites that will not uh, earn uh, enough uh, even if you take a lot of efforts to build awesome content etc then it will not make sense but some projects as i said uh, small niche site right, that will earn very limited amount of money maybe 300 400 500 dollar then uh, per month if it uh, you are only targeting four or five keywords, you have only two, three products to promote, and you have a lot of uh, competitions, then it will not make sense to spend a lot of time uh, uh, and resources to build uh, links uh, <coughs> on that uh, type of projects. So some projects, uh, for some projects, you can uh, take, uh, uh, especially for a small niche sites and burn and char, uh, char and burn types of sites you can uh, take uh, uh, you can um, adopt uh, apply some of the strategies that I am going to tell you now so private blog network it is very popular right now for many or uh, many uh, projects for many uh, to many uh, marketers uh, tiered link building is also another very popular methods uh, right now for uh, for some uh, smaller scope websites and using building links using software like SNU, uh, GSSR, that's, and that's that type of uh, uh, for smaller projects. So PBN actually, 
I got a question whether TVN still works good. Actually, uh, the reason uh, I'm exploring all the opportunity and the reason I'm saying about the scope of the project is that TVN works and it is dangerous to, to be, uh, uh, build uh, links with PVN. You have to be careful and you have to use PVN for those type of projects that are not that serious, that not will um, uh, will cause uh, will um, cause you a, a lot of trouble, uh, a lot of loss uh, if you are, are got caught. Your PVNs are de-indexed, so you have to be careful. PVN, uh, if you see uh, uh, why PVN is so powerful, we all know link building is very hard. Link building is very time consuming. Uh, it takes a lot of money and you are, uh, you don't know which type of sites will give you backlinks, which sites will not. And as you are not have enough links, you are not ranking as well, you are not making money. So ultimately you need links. But <laughs> there are, why PVNR is so good that uh, you can build uh, sites on expired domain that have a lot of good backlinks. So the, your shortage of uh, uh, backlinks uh, are covered if you get sites that have uh, black links and you control them and you get links from that, uh, that type of sites. So PVN is, that's a good, but you have to be, uh, be, uh, be very careful, strategical when uh, building links. You have to have uh, PVN uh, without having any footprint. If you are caught, then obviously Google will penalize your sites, de-index your sites, and uh, and you, you lose money. How to build links, uh, PVN? There are some uh, good uh, resources on the web. We'll find, but I would recommend uh, authority. Uh, uh, let me find out the links for you. These sites have some very good uh, uh, tutorial uh, articles on uh, building PVN on expert domain. So, how to, uh, what types of expert domain you should you should uh, get? Uh, what type of metrics you should check? And how where should you host? Uh, how you should build content? Uh, the duration, etc. Everything is discussed uh, very well here and. On the web, you will find actually a lot of resources on PBN. So if you are careful uh, uh, with your PBN, you will still um, uh, do well. Uh, you will get your site rank. And I would recommend, uh, if you actually be careful and you can build uh, um, with some, um, some skillfully, you can still link your uh, business site or serious website uh, for, um, some part of links through PVN. For business side, I would highly recommend not to depend on only PVN, but you can uh, get uh, some links from PVN. But if it is uh, your uh, uh, affiliate sites that uh, are not, um, that I would rather uh, say smaller scope uh, uh, affiliate sites that you can take risks of losing them uh, you have many websites. One, or, if you lose one or two, uh, then you do will not have any problem. Then you can depend on PVN. So tiered link building, it is actually. Uh, let me give you a. So this is how PVN say. Uh, um, PBN works. You have many uh, sites of your own, uh, then they link to your sites. This is how uh, you uh, got links and you solve your problem of uh, backlinking. PBN uh, a tiered link building is like that. So you have your mind site or money site, then some sites links to your money sites, then uh, they are your tier one links. Those sites, again, you build uh, tier two types of links 
for your tier one links. Basically, uh, for your money set, as Google are very much, um, uh, very much uh, hard uh, on uh, links, and you, they want you to build natural links. They want you to links from uh, authority side, uh, from relevant content, from from good types of sites. Uh, that uh, uh, that's why uh, tier one links. Uh, the links you get for uh, for your money site should be uh, from uh, high quality sites. So tier one links generally uh, are uh, are almost uh, almost good looking sites. They have uh, good quality content. They are clean. They are professional. This seems to be uh, uh, almost um, a blog that we usually maintain. So these links are very clear, but Tier two links are generally uh, built through software. There is a lot of links uh, are built to power up the uh, tier one links. So people uh, um, uh, either the tier one links could be your um, uh, you can uh, you can buy some expert domain or phrase domain or you can build uh, uh, sites on web two sites or you can uh, get links from other websites uh, from a post. They will be your tier one link, and tier two links will be your uh, your um, links that you will build for them uh, from various sources. Uh, a lot of links, tier one links, as will be meaningless unless until they have backlinks. So that's why, as you build a fresh domain, uh, a blog on a or web to blog, basically they don't have enough. Uh, link power to uh, link those uh, to send to your money site. So that's why you need to build links for them so that they can give you, uh, 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 they can pass enough link dues. So that's why uh, you need to build links uh, for tier two, uh, tier one, uh, uh, using uh, various types of software, which I am going to uh, explain within a minute. So, so far, so good. Uh, uh, can I get some feedback? Uh, let me uh, introduce uh, so all the responses from <laughs> Uh, attendees from my country. What about uh, the others? There are some questions I will answer uh, after finishing my presentation. So you can uh, keep posting your question. I will go through one by one once I have finished. So as I have said, uh, uh, building links using software. So uh, generally, this type of software, SNU or search engine ranker, GSS and search engine ranker, can generate a lot of lot of links if you know how to use them. Uh, there, there are some. Uh, uh, let me 
find out uh, okay so as you can search engine ranker are generally used for in a situation when you need uh, uh, you need a lot of backlinks a lot of backlinks if you use them for your uh, uh, main site your business site obviously you will be in a lot of trouble the, as uh, links will never seems natural links are from poor site links are from um, uh, unrelated sites maybe from porn sites which are which will be very dangerous for your money sites but still this uh, software are popular for some other reasons uh, uh, especially for building tier 2 links uh, some people also use them to build tier 1 links but uh, i would recommend if you uh, to build tier link for your money site you only use them for tier 2 and tier 3 type of links uh, they also uh, they are good for using uh, uh, using as for sometimes if you build tier one links and you have a, a niche size only uh, targeting three four five keywords uh, 10 to 20 pages almost a, a, a mini size that you have then you can use uh, this uh, two uh, software and similar software uh, to build your tier one tier three links but i will never recommend you to do that for your uh, uh, niche authority sites sites that you want to uh, uh, that are long term uh, uh, i will take a two minute break as uh, there are agents going on so a lot of sound you will not hear clearly so hope that's okay with you Okay, we are back. So uh, I was talking about the about building links using software like as you know can search in your name, ranker. 
so you can use these uh, uh, two types, uh, these types of uh, software to build your tier two types of links. Uh, you need to know how to use them. Uh, there are uh, actually a lot of uh, things involved uh, to uh, using them properly. So next is uh, uh, another, uh, I would recommend not to build uh, links uh, using software for your uh, money site, um, for your serial site, uh, especially if it is authority niche sites or uh, if it is your uh, sites that you are building for long time income uh, and, uh, and uh, solid stable income and you don't want to lose, uh, get penalized uh, uh, for, uh, for uh, any uh, for anything but uh, there are some sites uh, uh, called churn and burn sites actually uh, uh, marketers build sites uh, uh, on a very popular topic that usually get uh, 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 thousands of visitors if rank then they build on um, build uh, a site targeting two, three, four keywords. They uh, do a lot of uh, link building using uh, software. They know they will rank for a certain period of time and they, uh, they will uh, lose the site if they got caught. Uh, ultimately, Google will penalize. In that situation, if you can uh, take risk, if you can, uh, uh, can uh, uh, Take the uh, uh, take the risk of losing them. Uh, you can you have a plan that uh, you learn uh, good money uh, as long as they rank. In that situation, you can use uh, software like uh, that. So, in summary, I have almost done. In summary, uh, we can say that uh, you still need links for ranking. So there is uh, no scope. And obviously, there should be, uh, um, if you want to stay long on the uh, uh, search engine uh, in, uh, you, uh, and maintain links, you, you have to be links as Google likes. If you want to build links for uh, uh, naturally, then your site need to be linkable. You need to have linkable asset. You have to build them uh, and uh, and promote them uh, to get links. And building links, uh, linkable asset is time consuming and uh, also needs a lot of investment in terms of money and times. Basically, you want to do that for your long term projects. Uh, there are some strategies that you still can take uh, do for uh, your um, um, business uh, long-term projects as well as uh, uh, info uh, uh, passive income sites that also are long-term projects like guest blogging, broken link building, infographic marketing, outreach, etc. They still take time, but uh, it is doable and uh, worth of doing as they will get. Uh, uh, you will get good ROI. Some sites are uh, sites scopes are very very narrow, and uh, you will not uh, earn enough money uh, if you uh, enough money. That's why it's not worth uh, adopting uh, those time consuming and money uh, money uh, investing oriented uh, uh, link building. So for for that type of project, you can uh, take shortcut uh, like building PBN, tiered link building, uh, etc. And for burn and churn type of site projects, short term projects, you can uh, build uh, uh, links using software um, and, uh, uh, and then uh, it will, um, if you lose them, it will not be a big problem. So thank you very much for um, listening. Uh, I'll try to answer question one by one.
One question was, is it important to have the same amount of backlinks as the competitor? Uh, it's not the amount actually, uh, but you need to have better quality links. You need to have good amount of, uh, uh, of quality links. Obviously, you need um, uh, better than them. So, uh, another question was, uh, what type of link analysis uh, tools do you use? I use uh, Majestic SEO and Ahrefs as well. Uh, and I also asked what analysis tools do you use? I have uh, told uh, it is uh, Majestic SEO and HREFs. Uh, Manik has uh, asked where Fibian still works. Yes, it still works. The matter is how you do that. Yeah, yeah, there are two types of Fibian. One is private, very much private, only you build for your sites. You are not uh, using it for any other sites. You are not uh, accepting posts from other, other sites. There are some PVN that sells links. Uh, they, are, they are called public uh, PVN. Uh, if you use public PVN, uh, uh, I, I mean link building service that sells uh, posting on their blogs, it will not be as powerful as yours. So you have to be careful, but it, is, it still works. Uh, what are the top monetizing methods for churn and burn sites do you, uh, do you recommend? Well, uh, it is obviously affiliate, uh, affiliate and uh, AdSense, uh, there are uh, two popular methods. You can also check CPA uh, offers, etc. It actually depends. You would uh, create a site when you got an opportunity, you got an offer uh, where uh, there's a good enough uh, uh, to monetize uh, and you can check every monetization opportunity uh, so actually not particular but I have told you uh, about two uh, very popular methods Uh, how soon, in your opinion, Google will decrease the backlink value? Uh, actually, Google will uh, uh, not decrease the backlink value, but, uh, uh, not near future, but they will adopt many uh, other uh, uh, um, uh, signals uh, uh, or uh, improve their algorithms uh, as web is always changing. There are new uh, um, uh, things are coming out. Uh, if they find something is good enough to judge quality of a content, they will all, uh, they will adopt. And I, I'm not sure uh, when that will happen, but so far still, link is uh, one of the top three elements to judge our content, uh, uh, whether it is good or not. Actually, our software cannot uh, uh, evaluate uh, itself by only interpreting the content, whether content is good or not they need to depend on others' judgment. When a blog link uh, content, we say, uh, they give a vote for the content. So they have to depend on uh, human judgment, uh, and human judgment actually reflected when we give link to a content. And black hat method, actually, it is uh, about uh, uh, building uh, links using software and uh, burn and chance site, uh, this type of uh, effort you can do. I actually do not do a lot, but I know the methods as a link builder, as a SEO expert. I have to study, I have to keep myself updated. 
I hardly uh, uh, use those types of techniques for my client sites. We usually do white hat uh, techniques for our client sites. What is the price of an uh, hour of developer works? Uh, what is the average salary of SEOs in Bangladesh? It depends, actually. Uh, uh, I don't know, uh, as I do not uh, use them. I work for uh, uh, clients, and I am an old company. I have experience, I have a, so I do charge a good uh, amount of money. Generally, to review, a, Business side, we charge maybe four to five thousand dollars. That uh, takes uh, a month to review a site and prepare uh, the reports. So it's it's if it is a, a competitive sites, but uh, if it is not, they want to rank uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten viewers. Then we recommend them to hire our full time or part time staff and uh, on a monthly contract basis. And the prices is on our website. Uh, it also depends. Uh, you will find uh, uh, program uh, uh, SU professionals here, maybe full time. Uh, many of them will be happy to get anything uh, above $500 to $1,000 per month. And developer works uh, per hour, it also depends. Uh, uh, but basically, uh, uh, and intermediate, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, an expert, uh, a programmer with two, three uh, years experience will charge you more than $15 per hour, usually, but some charge more, maybe $25 per hour. What is your opinion? If I host three to five websites in one hosting company for PBN, it depends. If you if you uh, all the sites are uh, linking to one site, then it will be problem. But if it is for uh, different different niche site, then you you are okay. Yeah. In in one host, you can usually uh, uh, add uh, three to five websites. And uh, indexing methods, uh, there are so, some software you can search online about uh, uh, about indexing software or indexing service, you can use them. So uh, is there any questions? I've already answered most of them. Uh, uh, what? Uh, on what markets usually SEOs in your country works? Actually, most of them works about, um, uh, uh, it's, it's basically the GATT uh, works from USA, America, sorry, USA, England, uh, Canada, Western countries, uh, European countries, uh, where, where business are popular, where labor is uh, costly, where they want to hire uh, experts, uh, cheaply. Social networks, uh, links from social, uh, social networks means uh, obviously it is important uh, to get social signals. Social signals gives you the impression that your content is good. Human, uh, you see the uh, uh, two reaction uh, uh, from readers uh, when they find any interesting content, any valuable content. Bloggers usually give links from their blogs, but general people who do not blog, they usually share on sites, on social networking sites. When you, f you share uh, content on social network sites, that means you like it, you think it is good, you think it is uh, shareable. What is good to you is also good to uh, uh, search in as well. So social signals is very important factors to judge the quality of a content. Uh, GSSR, yeah, uh, is, is very complex. Uh, 
uh, there are some uh, tutorials you'll find uh, about GSSR. Uh, uh, the important factors is it is really uh, uh, complex. You need to test uh, a lot to learn to use this software. And, uh, uh, and obviously, as I said, you shouldn't use it for your um, authority side, business side. I mean, serious long-term projects, you can use them for tier two types of links, or if it is a barn, a Turner and barn site, or if it is a uh, sites with long-term, uh, uh, short-term goal. So, uh, yeah, you can take it as a long-term career, a permanent career. Uh, it depends on how do you monetize your skills. Uh, how can uh, you take, uh, how further you can take your uh, career to. But obviously you have to have uh, ability to learn, uh, apply, uh, think, um, uh, prepare plan, uh, uh, etc. Article marketing is dead. Uh, it is for where, which type of sites, it depends. <laughs> Still it will be powerful uh, uh, if you are trying to build uh, links for uh, very uh, uh, low competition sites, uh, it is still powerful. And you can still utilize it for your uh, tier, tier one uh, links. I mean, you can use article marketing to, uh, at, uh, if you say article marketing is uh, submitting articles to various uh, directories, then it is not as powerful as before, but for, to make a diversified link, uh, link uh, for your uh, sites, you can use very uh, very small amount, but article marketing actually far beyond submitting articles to article directories. Article marketing is uh, if you write an article on a uh, on an industry website, industry magazines, and you get traffic uh, uh, to uh, from that uh, content, uh, it is still good. Uh, if you are building, um, uh, doing article marketing for links, it will not be as powerful as, but if you build it for building brand, getting leads, it will be very powerful if you can do it rightly. Any more questions? We are uh, almost end to our uh, webinar. May I get some feedback? <laughs> May I give some, uh, no, uh, um, I think it will be uh, not possible to uh, uh, attend someone personally to build, uh, to guide them to build his uh, career. You should consult, uh, you should talk to you, uh, uh, you should take uh, actually some training for either online or uh, offline and uh, uh, get in touch with them. Thank you, Oleg. <laughs> For GSA campaign, uh, you should, uh, if you search Google, uh, YouTube, you'll find a lot. You are most welcome. Thank you, Leokot. Well, uh, in the slide, uh, you'll get my contact details. Uh, if you re, uh, in the second slides, maybe you'll find my contact details. Besides this, I'm giving you uh, my Twitter handle. This is my Twitter and uh, Twitter uh, uh, ID. You can connect me through that. And also my Facebook account. Uh, you can connect. 
my site is here is my site it is in bengali i'm not sure whether uh, you can read them but there is a uh, option you can uh, you uh, uh, you can connect me through my contact page sergey uh, uh, <laughs> i'm uh, uh, may i get your attention should i So yes, uh, should we continue or uh, I think we have done with the presentation and answering the question as well. Sergey, so, okay, uh, everything is covered, we can we can dis uh, uh, disconnect, right? Or if you have anything to say, you can let me know. I will highly, highly appreciate if you can uh, uh, type uh, where uh, the, the project um, webinar will be, then others who missed uh, the first part who joined uh, lately, they will get the chance to read. Okay, thank you everybody. Uh, we are going to disconnect and uh, thank you for listening. I will highly appreciate if you uh, tweet uh, about the webinar. I will continue your feedback from there. And uh, in my website, uh, I have a, uh, an article as well. Uh, it, will be, it is in Bengali actually. You can write your comments there as well. Uh, so thank you everybody. Bye.